Sri Ninong Eringji. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, sir. I would uh, really thank you and also our uh, party leader for giving me a chance to speak on this very important bill amendment, the National Institute of Technology Science Education Research Amendment Bill 2016. Uh, while congratulating uh, my very esteemed uh, friend, Mr. Javikarji, I would also like to request him that as he has taken uh, the previous department, you're know, leaving aside all party matters, but really doing his job because I have your, I have your interaction when you were with Globe and with the other you know, uh, committees that we had. So I know that uh, in this higher education also, you will you know, stick to your job and will take it to new heights. But before that, I would like to bring to this August House that who had started the information technology? Our late <coughs> Prime Minister, the first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru with his new visions, he had come and brought up all these institutes and he had a vision that one day India would stand as it is of today. This was followed up and all of you will know how the mobile came to India, how the inform information technology came to India. So even though in the when uh, we were in the, we are now in the opposition when and that time we were in the ruling, then also you'll have to admit that yes, this was the vision of our great visionary, late Rajiv Gandhi ji, who took us to the new heights in the field of information technology and research. I know I have not much to say because as my previous speakers like Mr. Sashi Tharoor, Dr. Bose, and my very good friend Jai Panda have, you know, have already taken up the issues which we really wanted to take up. And already, as you know, that uh, we are speaking on the same subject, but the people of Andhra Pradesh, they expect it. I know that Andhra Pradesh, especially from the Northeast, most of the students, they, start, they go and study South. And we are grateful to them, to the people of Tamil Nadu, from uh, Bangalore, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, because most of our children from the Northeast go and study there. It is like a brain drain that comes out from the Northeast and studying there. But here in the case of Andhra also, we know that uh, as my previous speaker has spoken, that there are so many numerous colleges, engineering colleges, but the main issue is that it is the quality that we need and not just the quantity. Of course, our Honourable Deputy Speaker also was just supporting this cause, that yes, it is the quality that we need, the support of <coughs> the institutions, how we can make it into a uh, you know, state of arts or a state of you know, importance, a national importance, how we can take up these institutions. Uh, the NIT Andhra Pradesh establishment is covered under the National Institute of Technology Science Education Research to Act 2007 to declare it as an institution of national importance, which will ultimately help in addressing the aspirations of the people and also of the poor students who are particularly from Andhra Pradesh. Now, it is a very big help. It is all, the institution is already there, but because of this bifurcation, uh, it is just a formality, uh, legality, which we have to pass this legislation. Uh, I wish all the people of Andhra Pradesh all the luck. But I would also like to put in a point that yes, uh, there, uh, as we were discussing about uh, what are the important uh, faculties that have been taken up. So I, I want that uh, as is, there are in computer science or electrical, etc. But I would demand that the uh, courses like environment engineering, climate change, which is very important now, ecosystem studies, agriculture, engineering, avionics, and there are various other subjects which we have to ponder upon. I would request the Honourable Minister that uh, this, these subjects are to be incorporated, not only in the other, uh, just in Andhra, but in the, throughout the other NITs also, so that uh, the brain drain that is going on, like we were just discussing now, Mr. Panda was saying, that uh, uh, for, you know, uh, 10,000 police posts, um, you know, so many students, engineering graduates, 
are coming forward to apply for just a policeman's post. So we have to create avenues for them. Just uh, you know, having in qu quantity is not that is a, a, a thing of the day. We we have to concentrate on the uh, quality of quality education so that the brain drain that is taking place throughout uh, Indians are throughout the world. And we would like that these children should come back and they should stay in India so that we can uh, take our country more better in a better way. So I would really congratulate the uh, people of uh, Andhra that, and we wish them all the luck uh, and that uh, the students there will get this benefit of uh, NIT. But also I would request that as my colleague Mr. Yadav was saying that uh, especially in my constituency, it's a 4,000 square kilometer constituency. I think no one has that such a big constituency. And we need more education, you know, institutions like that in Arunachal Pradesh. And I would like to recommend, if you can take names, at least of, say, like Tezu, Namsai, Pasighat, Rowing. These are places where, you know, these establishments are required. And in such a peace-loving <coughs> state, I'm sure you'll look into it. Thank you, sir. Sir, Udit Rai.